guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But it is currently 9.41 in the morning and I just have to walk up the street to go to my baseball practice this morning. So it is a very, very nice day outside. It's already 20 degrees and so Honestly, I'm a little bit tired, but it is what it is, so I'm going to go up to my baseball practice in like a couple minutes. It's at like 10, but I have done something new with like my time lapses and all my transition shots, and you'll see them in today's video. Comment down below if you guys like them. I just thought, I just got something new, and I just thought of it, and I don't know, I think I like it, and I think it's pretty cool. But comment down below what you guys think. So, yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna. It's been like the first while that I haven't been able to watch Murdoch in the morning. But I'm gonna have to find something else to wake me up. So, I'm just gonna go to my baseball game or my baseball practice, and I'll see you guys when I come home. I'm home now, but guess what? It's 10:27, and my coach ended up not coming, so I just got back, like just through the door. So I waited like 15, 20 minutes, and I don't know. It might have got the times wrong, cause next week it's at like 12, and then today is at like 10. Then the week after that it is at 10, but. Newfoundland is approaching pretty soon. We have 10 days and we leave on the Tuesday, which is the 23rd. So I'm getting super, super excited because it is so close. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little new time lapse thing that I did. I don't know if you guys did enjoy it, but I kind of did. I, I don't know. I thought it was like different, but I did my journal yesterday, even though because I didn't record. So you guys do not know what my journal was. So it's called Camp Ashworth and this is because the reason is because when I, we have a pool and whenever like friends come over it just became a thing where it's called Camp Ashworth. So that's what I called it because the friends came over yesterday, really good friends actually came over yesterday, more or less like family now. But so they came over but before that I woke up today at 11.05 a.m. Went downstairs to watch Murdoch like usual. And which I'm going to do after like this. I'm going to go downstairs and watch Murdoch like usual. Because like I don't know. It's just my routine. So I thought I might as well just keep up the routine. But John is still asleep. But yesterday when I woke up he was gone to get something done with his heart. Because he's I don't know. Supposedly he was like problems because he like fainted, but everything is okay, but My dad ended up getting him a sub for lunch. and I think my dad also had one So I asked him if they could get me a sub from subway and they ended up getting me one so So I did have a bacon chicken ranch sub from subway for lunch And it was so good and then our friends came over to swim at 4 and to attend Camp Ashford is what we call it. It's not really a camp, it's just like a funny thing because it's like uh, when the friends' parents, like when they get asked, um, I, it was one time where they got asked what camp are your kids in and they said Camp Ashford and they asked what it was. It was really funny. But yeah, so that's why we call it Camp Ashford because it's just like a little play on words, funny thing. But um... Yeah, so they attend they came to the house yesterday and they stayed for dinner. It was like a really really fun time So we swam and we played baseball and then we had burgers for dinner And they were honestly my dad makes pretty good hamburgers and I love them every single time that he makes them Honestly, I think he makes the best hamburgers that I've ever had. I'm not even joking like his hamburgers are really really good and then so we had 
a fire after dinner, which was really nice. And then they ended up leaving a, after 9 p.m. And I watched Murdoch for the rest of the night, and that was my day, honestly. It was a really, really fun day. I do not know what I'm going to be doing today, but... Because I was supposed to have a baseball practice, but I'm not having that. So, I honestly do not know what I'll do today. Um, more or less like a relaxing day because my parents do leave to go to Nashville tomorrow. So, it's like they're just getting ready to go to Nashville. So, honestly, it's just more of a relaxing day, I think. Honestly, I might try to play Monopoly or something like that. Maybe that would be fun to just do like a board game or something. But... I drew these images because I thought of like water, ocean type vibes and so I don't know I just thought of that but honestly the next time I'll pick up the camera will probably be after lunch so I'll catch you guys then. So some time has passed now and I just got to get the day started and honestly I haven't really started the day yet but I'm just going to be starting the day now even though I woke up at like 8 in the morning so I'm going to go downstairs have some lunch watch some Murdoch that's probably what I'm going to be doing for a while. And then, I don't know if John's staying today or going somewhere. If he's staying, I think we're going to go outside, play hockey or basketball or something. Something fun, something to do outside. But yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and have lunch, and then I'll catch you guys after. I made it outside now and I'm gonna be playing hockey after that little rainstorm we had. It was actually pretty much a pretty big rainstorm. But it has cleared up now as you guys can see. It's just a little bit damp out here and like on the trees and all that stuff. It's still like pretty dark skies, but I'm just wanted to play outside, just come outside and play hockey. But my family is coming over for dinner tonight. Which is going to be fun, we're going to be having steak and probably potatoes and other stuff like that. So it's going to be good, but I'm just going to go to playing hockey and I'll catch back to you guys when I'm back inside. So it seems like it has decided to rain again, kind of, yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't even know, it's like really hard and heavy rain. And so, honestly, I don't even think I can play hockey anymore. But, I don't even, this is like pretty hard rain, but I don't even know, like, it's coming down pretty hard now. Holy, this is like, I was, I, I was honestly playing and then it rained like a little bit, but then it started to rain again and now it's like this. So, I don't think I can play anymore, but, yeah, I definitely can't play. That's a lot of rain. Oh wow, okay. So, honestly, I'm just gonna go back inside so I'll catch you guys inside. So, it is after seven now. It's 20, 18, it's like 20 minutes, just, uh, it's around quarter two now to eight, but it turns out it has been a weird day today because it was like raining and now it's like a pretty nice day. It was off and on the rain. But I got a new app recently, and this is not a brand deal or anything or paid promotion or whatever. And I'm not even going to tell you what the app is. But so there's this app where you can create a storybook kind of thing on uh, in the app, and that's exactly what I did. So I created a story of my Newfoundland trip last year, and the spirit of that Newfoundland is in nine days when you guys are watching this video so it's kind of crazy but when this video when i'm recording this right now it is 10 days so honestly i just decided to make a little like book an online book thing so here it is it's called newfoundland trip 2018 
So the first one is driving time. That's my uncle there. And I said Bear Bear teaching me. Jam Jam is what? Well, I call him Bear Bear because his, name, his name's Uncle Barry. So I call him Bear Bear and then he calls me Jam Jam because my name is James. It's just kind of a play on words. It's funny. But also it's, I don't know, it's funny. So yeah, so he taught me how to drive in this little like 4x4 last year and it was really fun. And then the next we have is beach view. It's looking out on Northern Bay Sands and that's exactly, we're going to Northern Bay again this year. We're doing a bunch of things as well, but we're, we're seeing my nanny. Then we're going out to my aunts, and we're going to Northern Bay. Not they're not in a specific order, but I think we land. We're gonna go see my nanny. Then we're going to Northern Bay or something. I don't even know, but it's gonna be fun. And I know we're going out west this year just to see a bunch of things like where the Vikings landed in Lance and Meadows. So it should it's gonna be fun. But so yeah, that's the beach view. And I said looking onto Northern Bay Sands and that's Northern Bay Sands right there where those little like um, trailers are so honestly it's uh, I don't know Northern Bay is a very very fun place and then w this one is about whales we're not actually whale hunting but I titled it whale hunting and we can see seeing if we can spot any whales in Northern Bay because often you can see in whales and honestly seeing whales is pretty really cool because they're just off in the distance and you see the water come out of their blowhole so it's, it's really cool but the next one we have is Northern Bay Sands and this is so like up there is like the house and that's why you could see all the trailers so now we're like here and this is Northern Bay Sands, just chilling at the beach. The next one is John and I were ready to ride some waves, so I titled it Wave Riding, and John and I are getting to getting ready to ride the waves. Next, my mother wanted us to take a picture, and she wanted like the water behind us so that it comes up and comes up behind us, because the waves are really really high on like a pretty good day and because the winds get high so that the waves get high and um yeah so I, I titled it on the rocks posing so mother could take a picture of us and so it ended up being really really cool picture and then john and i went to this little place called dildo and we went to dildo brewery and we got dildo shirts and um you can understand why it's funny I'm not going to imply why it's funny, but you guys can understand why. And uh, so I still have that shirt. I really like that shirt. And John has that one, but he didn't have one that fit him like that. And then we were at Waterfront and she had the same shirt. But we were in Waterfront. And it's there's like the sea right there is Cabot Tower. And that is coming up soon. But you can see uh, Cabot Tower, which is which is really cool. Cabot Tower is one of those places that if you ever go to St. John's, you gotta visit it. And so we went. So I titled it Waterfront and Downtown St. John's at Waterfront. And then the next one is a lighthouse. Beautiful picture of a lighthouse just outside of St. John's. And then we have lighthouse posing where John and I are on the doorstep of the lighthouse and we're just posing for a picture. Got all my Newfoundland stuff on. That hat says 1467 and is that is 1497 I mean. And that is when Newfoundland was founded by John Cabot. So honestly, it's really cool. And I have like puffin socks on. So we're at the lighthouse again. And I tell this portrait time. It's my mother, John, and I were posing for a pic. And then we're in a run, one room school. This my my uh, poppy. He went to a one room school in Northern Bay, and it was just really cool to see a one room school because it's just honestly it is one room, and I'm used to like having three floors of in my school. And it's a huge school. There's like a thousand plus kids in in this in the one room school where my poppy grew up. There would only be like him and a couple other students with one teacher, and they would be teaching at like a desk like this on like slates. And so I titled it one room school, sitting at a desk, um, 
sitting at a desk, which was a one-room school. And then here we go, Cabot Tower. Posing at Cabot Tower because why not? Because honestly, Cabot Tower is one of those places, like I said, you gotta go visit. And then we have Cabot Tower Part 2, posing at Cabot Tower because why not? And then we have a little cellar. And this is this is when we went puffin hunting, and there was like a little cellar area, and I, and then I I put in the description a little a cellar you'd find in the Hobbit, and then we have puffins looking for puffins, then puffins part two, and we found the puffins, which I actually took this photo, and now it is a mouse pad, which is really really cool, and then we have family portrait posing with the fam. This is all of us. And then on the boat, we're on my uncle's boat getting ready to go fishing. And then fishy time, this is me ready, getting ready to catch <laughs> getting ready to catch dinner. And then here, fishy, fishy, that fish will be on the rod. And then this is the view we had from the boat, which is absolutely incredible because there's like so many mountains around because it's like Newfoundland is basically hills and water. So honestly, it's there's so many beautiful views. And then look at look at the view from the boat and then we have big catch finally caught my fish and we ended up catching four fish on the first day 15 fish on the second day and we had all this cod for on um on good friday which was really good we usually do that every year but yeah so honestly that was really fun making like a little book for uh newfoundland from 2018 so i'll probably make one for 2019 but i'm gonna go downstairs and watch murdoch just after 11 and i have been just watching murdoch since the last time i recorded i honestly do not remember since like what was the last what was the last thing i recorded but we had dinner and we had steak and salad along with corn i didn't have corn i don't really like corn it's not my thing but it was very, very good. But I'm going to get right into my journal. And I think today I'm going to call this one Saturday Blues. And just because I really didn't do anything today. And it turns out I was supposed to have a baseball practice, but I didn't. So I'm just going to call it Saturday Blues. I don't know, just kind of rhymes and works. And I think that's an actual thing. So I'll get back to you when I'm done writing my journal. I just finished the journal for today. Uh, it is uh, now almost 11.30, it's like 11.21, so it's it's getting a little bit late, but what, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but today's title is Saturday Blues, and uh, yeah, so today I woke up at 8.45 a.m. because I had a baseball practice. But no one, like, no one showed up. And actually, there was one person that showed up, and uh, he showed up with his grandma. But then he ended up leaving because no one was there. And I've already been there waiting for like 10, 15 minutes. So it was like worthless, and no one was coming. So I ended up going home and watching Murdoch. And I made uh, pizza bagels for lunch, and it was so good. I went outside and played hockey for five minutes because it started pouring. As you guys saw in that transition shot, it was pouring and pouring. And then I went outside and played hockey and it was fine. And then it rained a little bit and then it started, it was fine. And then it just came down again and poured. So I just honestly played outside for like five minutes at the max. But um, so, and then my nonna and my aunt came over for dinner. We had steak with salad and corn, and honestly, I've been saying this lately, but I said in yesterday's video, or two, I don't even know when it was, yesterday's video, two days ago, I don't even know, um, but my dad makes, like, the best steak, and it it's just, it's really, really good. So we had steak with salad and we had, and we also had it with corn, but I do not eat corn. I don't know. I just don't like it. And then we, I watched Murdoch for the rest of the night. My mother and father were packing for Nashville. Sadly, John and I were not invited or could not go because it was a business trip. And you cannot bring kids with you because there was some like rule couple, like something happened where it was like 
this guy and his he he didn't really go to all the business meetings so it's like a business trip he didn't go to any of the meetings so it's like no kids are allowed anymore so i don't know i wish i could go to nashville it'd be really fun just to take the camera and my book and everything but you're gonna have to wait for something exciting until i go to newfoundland which is in when you guys are watching this nine days which is absolutely crazy because I'm, I don't know Newfoundland is just one of those places where it just is amazing and that was my day so I drew a TV a Saturday and party things because we did have a party because my aunt and my nonna came over but yeah so honestly I don't know what else I'll be doing for today's video because it is late but I will catch you guys there it honestly looks like it's come to this part of the video. I do have a baseball game tomorrow at like 8.45. So honestly, that's going to be a really late game, but it'll be fun though, because I don't even know. It'll just be fun. I'm going to have one on Monday. So there is a couple of things going on, and then I have to have a practice on Wednesday or something. But yeah, guys, so honestly, I do look like I'm going to have to end off today's video so i would basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and i do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys be subscribed to my youtube channel and turn on my post notifications and smash that like button smash see savage minds peace out i will see you guys in tomorrow's video